Well, good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. This is from a recent trip offshore in about 100 feet of water, 105 feet of water. There's a few fish uh, that you can see as I'm dropping the cams down through the mid column. And I'm going to make some changes to the color here very shortly because it's really, really green down there. And so I want to increase the contrast and decrease the saturation a little bit so we can see everything a little bit better. Boom, hitting bottom. Looks kind of desolate, but just wait. Look at there, here comes the crowd. Trigger fish, small um, red snapper. There's two, three mangrove snapper, another trigger. Those are little grunts with a black spot on their tail. That's bait, but look at all those mangrove snapper. Mangrove, oh, those are two vermilion snapper right there. Three vermilion snapper. Nice big vermilion snapper, by the way. More vermilions. All of those vermilions are keeper size. I think that's an angelfish there. Enjoy. Now what you're going to see is the line connecting to the uh, cams uh, is on a fishing pole that I've got up in the boat. And as the waves are going up and down, it pulls the cams up and down and they begin to rotate a little bit into some structure area. By the way, that yellow fish right there with the black stripes, that's a pork fish. I don't know why they call them pork fish, they're no good to eat. Way in the background there is a gigantic snapper of some sort. I think it's a big mangrove, but my goodness, it was a monster. There's a pork fish again, lots of mangroves, grunt right there in the front, a grunt in the front. Red snapper, red snapper, vermilion snapper. Look at all those fish, look, just look at all those fish through the background there. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're going to see a wave pull the cams up, and then when it drops down, it's even facing that structure a little bit more. That's kind of neat. That's a red snapper, and there's a red snapper on top of the structure there. Mr. Porkfish going by. Now, I do not know what those two little fellows down at the bottom are called. They're uh, all over this reef. Kind of cute. They got a snout on them. Cams begin to bounce up and down a little bit, but they'll settle down here in just a minute. Also, I have, you know, there are sections in this video where I slow the uh, action down and then speed it up back to normal um, so that we can view it a little bit better. Do you see that fish right there, uh, that primary fish, just a little bit to the right of the center? That's called a big-eyed tauros, um, or Atlantic big eye, or something like that. Uh, first time I've ever seen these. And look at that big fella in the background there, just behind the uh, structure. I think he pops out on the other side here. Yeah, there he is. See him? above the structure just above that's a big old goliath grouper
Now coming up here, you see right there at the very bottom of the screen, looks like a crater. That has to be uh, some place where a fish is cleaned out to lay its eggs. That's kind of cool. As the cams are bouncing up and down, it's moving a little bit. You see a little bit more of the structure here in a little bit. Definitely one thing that I have noticed over dropping these cams down oh, dozens of times is that um, the red snapper are not shy. How about that big old Goliath grouper there? The red snapper are not shy about the cams, yet the mangrove snapper are. That's why you always see the red snapper coming up to the cams, looking around, investigating, but the mangroves, they seem to tend to hang back a little bit. I love this view. I love it. Look at those shells in the background. All kinds of creatures, including lobsters, are hiding underneath those shells back there. Okay, boys and girls, get ready for some cool action. I've slowed the cams down 50%. That's a big old stingray. Mr. Cobia and Mrs. Cobia. And a big old shark sucker. Big shark sucker. <laughs> that was kind of cool. But you'll notice right in the middle of the view here, you'll see a looks like a little foggy spot. That's in all of the, all of the cams that I've ever dropped down, and I think it's got to do with uh, the waterproof case that these cams go in. Uh, the convergence right in the center causes a little foggy spot. There's Mr. Big Eyed Toro again. They are actually a bright red like red snapper. You can't tell it in these cams because of the, the filtration that the water does. It filters out all the red by the time it gets down to 100 feet. That's a red snapper. Doesn't look red at all. <laughs> And here comes a strange looking red snapper. There's something wrong with this guy. He was swimming kind of funny. I've never seen anything like that before. He's got some sort of parasite in the brain or something. And that little fella, that's a jackknife in the bottom there. That was a jackknife fish. Red snapper, red snapper. Lots of red snapper. There's a little grunt. Mangrove at the bottom there, two mangroves at the bottom. And here comes a curious beeliner, also known as a vermilion snapper. They are also a bright red, bright orangish red. There's a grunt. 
Red snappers, red snappers, lots and lots and lots of red snappers. Goodness. And by now you should be noticing Mr. Lionfish to the right, middle right there, heading towards the cams. He doesn't come right up to the cams, but he's there. Actually, there are two of them. You can't see the other one yet. Now one of the things that I like to do uh, is to look into the background, constantly look into the background of, at what the shadows are. Um, I've dropped two cams down and usually I'll take about 15 minutes from each one. But the total time that these cams were down was only about 30 to 32 minutes. And look at all the fish that we see just in this 30 minute clip. Plus, you're not seeing what's up in the column. There's all kinds of fish going up, halfway up, like mangroves, and red snapper, maybe cobia, barracuda, sharks, all kinds of fish. This is just the bottom dwellers right here. I would love to have a 360 cam put down there with a good waterproof case. I had a 360 cam that I dropped down, but just about on the first drop down, um, water got in and of course ruined the cam. Said it was uh, good for 90, 95 feet. Well, I dropped it down on only 65 feet of water. It got water intrusion, salt water intrusion. So basically I threw about a $200 cam in the trash. I won't do that again. Now up to the bottom right you see those there are two jackknife fish. They are so cool looking. And yes, we are constantly fishing. Hello, Mr. Vermilion. I think I see you. If you got a little scratch on the top of your head, I think I see you a couple times. You're an inquisitive guy. Hey, 
Oh, it looks almost like a trout, doesn't he? Northern trout, northern spotted trout, or let's see, what do they call those? Brown trout. I've caught brown trout that look almost like that. Same shape and everything. And here he is again, still checking things out. A million snapper, he's probably about 14 inches long right there. Now get ready to look in the upper left hand quadrant there, you'll see some big fish, probably a shark. See it there? Not sure what that was. I think there's another one that shows up here shortly too. We didn't catch too many sharks or see too many sharks in this trip, which was great. Okay, I'm getting ready to switch to the other cam, which is facing exactly in the opposite direction. That's a mangrove snapper there that you see above the structure, and here comes the crowd to investigate. That mangrove turned around. Look at all those other mangroves down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, I see seven, eight, eight mangroves just right there. Trigger fish. Big red, those are some big red snapper. And I do mean big, 30, 32 inch red snapper at least. That's a grunt. That's bait. <laughs> Look in the background, that big old red snapper above the structure there. Oh my goodness. Monsters. Look at all those red snapper. There is no shortage of red snapper. Vermilion snapper, look at all those vermilions too. Grunts, vermilions, triggers, red snapper, magro snapper. Very rich diversity here. Shortly, you're going to see a mangrove snapper come into view in the upper left-hand corner. See him there with a black stripe down through the eye? That's typical of a mangrove snapper, but some of them don't have any stripe at all, and it's still a mangrove snapper. Some of them are light-colored. Some of them are really, really dark-colored. I think it's got to do with their age and their breeding status, male and female. See that mangrove? Hardly any stripe at all. Of course, most of these are red snapper. Look at all those red snapper. And like I said before, the mangroves don't approach the cams nearly as much as the red snapper do and the vermilion snapper.
Coming up here right in front of the cams is a vermilion snapper with some damage to his head. You see him there a little bit to the right? Like he'd been attacked and managed to escape. And just keep in mind what you're seeing here, keep looking into the background, way into the background. You see shadows back there, so these fish are not just this thick around the cams, they are this thick throughout that whole territory. There are thousands and thousands out there. And every once in a while you'll see a grunt go down and take up a mouthful of sand, like that one there, take a mouthful of sand, filter it through his gills, and I think he's filtering out little organisms that he's eating. And sometimes you'll see a mangrove snapper, or red snapper, or grunts scratch themselves on the bottom. They'll turn sideways and actually scratch themselves on the bottom like they're you know, if you've got an itch and you're a fish, how do you scratch yourself? I guess you scratch yourself on the bottom. And in just a second, you're going to see two enormous red snapper. These red snapper are in the 30 plus inch range, both of those. They are thugs. Now get ready, here comes Mr. Big Pants. I estimate he was between 250 and 300 pounds maybe close to a 350. Now let's look at how these red snapper and these, the rest of these fish are just kind of cruising in the uh, current there. Just like gliding. Hardly any effort at all. Still staying in place. Don't ask, I don't know what that was. Could have been a cobia, who knows. Mr. Mangrove, and here comes the big-eyed Toro. Strange looking fish. And there's another one. And another one back behind that little red snapper there. I heard they're good to eat. Now coming up here in just a second, see that fish right there that I put the circle around? Look at it carefully and see if you can tell me what it is. I do not know. 
It's not a red snapper because he's got a he's like a soccer ball hump instead of a football shape to it. Big fish, big fish. I'd like to know. Now, are you paying attention? Look at all of those fish. All of them are good to eat. Including the grunts. I've eaten grunts before. Excellent eating, actually. Now you'll see a grunt in the lower left hand corner. He comes down and he is chowing down on the grub. Look at him go. He's filtering out all of the organisms. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> And in just a second, you'll see that mangrove right there scratch himself. Boom. See that? Isn't that cool? Now keep in mind the cam that's pointing in exactly the opposite direction is pointing towards the um, structure. Yeah, and that's a Almaco Jack that just swam by. And we did not catch any Almaco or AJs on any of these trips, but they're down there. It's only a matter of time.
Yes, we are truly blessed with having oceans full of fish like this. And yeah, we're supposed to use them, but we're not supposed to abuse them. And we want to make sure that we leave plenty of fish for future generations, but also use the fish wisely that we have available for our tables. Not sure if this is a blue runner or a jack of some sort. Now that's one gorgeous little fish. Big old mangroves. And look who's coming back for a visit. Probably to say goodbye because I'm getting ready to pull the cams up in just a minute. Here comes Mr. Almaco Jack. I believe there's two in this shot somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Also keep in mind that red snapper and mangrove snapper feed mainly at night. That's why you catch most of them at night, but red snapper will eat anything all day long. Going up. Cam's going up. 